I scare you? Be honest. You jumped just a little bit. You jumped just a little bit. Okay, maybe you didn't jump, but your parents did, right? <laughs> okay, now that you are all awake this morning, I have a question for you. Do you like stories? Give me a double thumbs up if you love listening to stories. I do too. I love stories. So, here it is. Once upon a time, there were two siblings. A boy named Jimmy and his twin sister, Jenny. Jimmy and Jenny both received a box of Legos for their birthday. Jimmy and Jenny were so excited. They could hardly wait to open up the box, dump out the Legos and start building wonderful Lego creations. But even though they were excited, they were scared. They were scared to open the box. Let me tell you why they were scared. Jimmy really wanted to build a big boat with his Legos. Okay, he wanted to take all the pieces and make a big boat, but he was scared. He was scared that if he started to make a boat, it would end up looking like a, a tractor or a car or a bus instead. Jimmy was afraid of failing, so he never opened the box. Jenny wanted to use her Legos to make a big castle. Oh man, she just couldn't wait to dive in and make a big castle. But she was scared because she was just at her friend Molly's house and Molly built a castle out of her Legos. And Molly's castle was so big and it was so beautiful and it was so amazing that Jenny thought, I'm never going to be able to build a castle like my friend Molly. So Jenny decided she wasn't going to open the box. Jimmy really wanted to get all of his other Legos and combine it with his new box and use all of his Legos to make a really big city. He wanted to make a Lego city that covered the floor in his entire room. But he got scared. He thought, if I have my friends over and they see this ginormous city that covers my whole room, they're going to think I'm full of myself. I don't want to look arrogant. So I'm not going to open the box. Jenny. Jenny decided she wasn't going to have a plan. She was just going to dump out the Legos and start putting them together and see what creation she came up with. But she got scared. She thought about what her friends might say or think if they saw her playing with Legos. Maybe Legos aren't cool anymore. Maybe she's supposed to be playing with dolls or jump ropes instead. Maybe Legos aren't cool. So Jenny decided she wasn't going to open the box. Now, boys and girls, this is kind of a sad story, isn't it? Both Jimmy and Jenny got brand new boxes of Legos for their birthday. And both of them are too scared of what others might think or say that they're not opening up the box. It doesn't even make sense. Boys and girls, listen to me carefully. God has given each and every one of you a gift. No, God did not give you a box of Legos, but he gave each of us something that we're good at. Maybe you're a really great student. You make good grades because you just love to learn. Maybe you're amazing on the basketball court or on the soccer field. Maybe you're just a really good singer or you can play the piano beautifully. Maybe you can draw the most amazing pictures. Maybe you're a great friend. You're an encourager 
or a listener or a writer or a good reader. We each have different gifts that God has given us. And when we don't use those gifts, it's as silly as getting a box of Legos and never opening up the box. In 1 Peter 4 verse 10, it says, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. So boys and girls, here is my challenge for you today. I want you to talk to your mom and your dad, and I want you to ask them what they think your gifts are. Together, come up with what you're good at. And then I want you to use those gifts. Think about what your gifts are and how you can use those gifts to point others to Jesus. You do not have to wait until you are an adult to use your gifts. In fact, you shouldn't. Use your gifts right now, okay? Use your gifts to point others to Jesus because God didn't give us gifts for us to look at. God gave us gifts so we will open up the box and do something amazing. Boys and girls, will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing each and every one of us with different gifts. Lord, help us not to be afraid, but to open up the box and do something amazing. We love you. Amen. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya.